All right, yo, what's going on, guys? I'm Flavars, and welcome to another Call of Duty Vanguard video. Where today, we'll be taking a look at what happens when you guys reach the max level of all operators in the same unit. And in this case, it's the Shadow unit that we're going to be looking at today, along with the types of rewards you guys are going to obtain for it, and of course, how to actually achieve this progression. But just before we hop into the video, if you guys could drop that early like on the video for me, that would be absolutely great, as it always helps out the video. It helps out the channel and does amazing stuff with that whole YouTube algorithm and whatnot. But what mostly does is it just lets me know that you guys are enjoying the content I upload here on the channel. And so while you guys are down there, maybe leave a comment, throw some feedback as well, and let me know if there's anything you guys would like to see uploaded here on the channel relating to Call of Duty Vanguard, Warzone, and more. And I'll feature your comment for those videos in the future. But with that said, let's get right into the video. Now, if you guys have noticed or been paying attention to your operators, leveling them up and the units they belong to, you may have noticed that in the challenges section for any operator next to the challenges detail, you'll see that the name of the operator's unit alongside the word mastery as another set of challenges to complete. So in this case of today's video, as mentioned earlier, we're going to be taking a look at the shadows unit as you guys can see that below it it says to reach the max level of all operators within the shadow unit and to complete this you need to reach the max level with all three of the operators within the same unit so you'll need to reach the max level with the operators of polina Solange, and shiganori when you guys complete that you guys will gain 5000 xp towards leveling and then below that we actually have the mastery rewards which shows you'll obtain a title which says grim reaper and then a skin for the operator that you're specifically viewing so during your matches when you guys have gained enough xp for your last operator to reach the max level within that unit you should see all of the rewards pop up at the top of the screen like it what shows here for me in this match here but then once that match is over, we can actually head back to the main screen and you'll see that we can actually head over to the operators tab and then head over to see all three of my operators that are now maxed out at level 20. And then we can go ahead and view Polina's section. And here you can see all of my progression is completed, maxed out. And then now the shadow mastery section has actually changed where there's a new set challenge there, which says to reach the max level with all operators in all four units with a reward of 7,500 XP. And then the mastery reward of the worldwide player title or just title and any accompanying skin for whatever operator you're actually viewing it in so in this case for polina her mastery skin is actually called legend maker and if we actually head over to Selange, you can see that for her shadow mastery as well her is actually changed with a different name for the mastery reward skin called upholder and then over in shiganori his is also changed to the new shadow mastery and the new mastery reward with his new skin called sakura now heading over to the customization section of our operators in this unit you guys can see here for Polina through her level progression we've unlocked her azimuth and bolt action skins as her rewards and then for reaching the max level for all the operators in her unit here we've unlocked the rangefinder skin which has that black outfit with the gold accents just like we've had in the previous videos we made for all the other operator masteries and their other units unlocking that for the hellhounds barbarians and sentinels units but now we can actually go ahead and check out Solange's customizations and here you can see through her progression we've unlocked the bootstrapper and breakwater skins as those progress rewards and then reaching the max level for all the operators in her unit here we've unlocked the scrubland operator skin for her and of course this is the same kind of style from the ones that we've seen before and then finally and last but not least we have shiganori's customization that we can go and check out here and we've unlocked his shogun and wartime skins as his progressive rewards and then here for reaching the max level with all the operators within his unit for shadow we've unlocked his dishonored skin for him to use and again with that same black outfit with the gold accents now aside from these skin customizations as your rewards which are great of course we do also unlock one more thing which is very minor but maybe a big or small deal depending on whether you guys actually care about it or not or really want it or not and it is the title reward so if you guys remember it was called the grim reaper so if we head over to the barracks and then go over to customization scroll down to player titles you guys can see here we have a bunch of player titles unlocked but we're looking for the grim reaper which is the one that we unlocked for the mastery reward so which one equipped it has just the player title pasted on the bottom left corner of your your calling card it's nothing too special but again it is a nice addition to add a little bit more flair overall to your player card and for now we're going to go ahead and equip the grim reaper title for this video and now you guys may have noticed earlier while we were looking through our operator skins as well that the final mastery skins were actually unlocked for all of our operators and from my other videos for the other units i would have typically said that this would have been a minor glitch however if you guys were paying close attention throughout the video you may have noticed as well at hints and sneak peeks to the fact that i've actually maxed out every operator's level in 
in every unit, which actually grants me the final mastery skins for every other operator available in every unit. But for that, I'll save that for an upcoming video talking about the in-depth stuff and all of that things that you guys need to know about. And so with that said, that's everything you guys need to know about for what happens when you max out all of the operators within the same unit, this case being the operators Polina, Solange, and Shigenori of the Shadows unit, along with also unlocking the exclusive and secret skins and the player titles as well that can only be obtained through the progression. And of course, with that said as well, be on the lookout here on the channel when I upload the video about what happens when you reach the max level with all operators in every unit, which I'm sure you guys pretty much have an idea of. It's pretty straightforward, but it's still going to be an exciting video nonetheless and a topic to cover. So again, be sure to stay on the lookout for that here on the channel when that video does go live. But if you guys would like to watch me grind out the game live, you know, on stream, working on unlocking weapon camos and getting that atomic camo, I'll be streaming over on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash full bars live. The link will be down in the description below and I'm usually live between 9 a.m. Eastern or 9 p.m. Eastern. So be sure to drop that follow and notifications on so you don't miss out when the next time I stream goes on. And who knows, maybe I'll be live right now as when you guys are watching this video. But that's gonna about wrap it up for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, if it helped you out or maybe even both, consider dropping that like for me on this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and turn on notifications by hitting the bell icon next to the subscribe button that way you guys don't miss out when I upload a new Call of Duty Vanguard video here to the channel. And of course, for all my social media links, like I mentioned, Twitch, Twitter, Discord, and more, all of that will be linked down in the description below. But thank you guys so much for watching. Catch you on the flip side. Arts out.